So you've known Caesar for over 20 years. What was he like? He was a very nice guy. I mean, every, uh, we worked together in 10 different clubs. Um, he's always been very polite. Very. Uh, I mean, I just, I've never seen anything like this coming. Uh, he was over there sitting on his desk. He always watched the news, though. He was always on that TV watching the uh, news. Uh, worried about the it. Fox Channel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> To know somebody and think you know somebody. I mean, you, you work with this person. Nicest guy, just a great guy. He was one of our, you know, he greet people at the door. Just a really nice guy. Everybody loved him. It is amazing. You just can't even. No, come on in. Sorry, you're gonna have to edit that part out. I can. Okay. Um. It's not like it's live or anything, so you're good. Hi. Uh, Mark Conti reporting. I want to uh, add something to the record. Wow, we missed this. I, his two. Interviews. You just saw two two faces, two people that worked at uh, Ultra uh, Nightclub with Caesar Altare Sayak, the alleged Patsy Bomber, back in uh, October 25th. Right. So the two people you just heard were the fine work, uh, the fine, fine work find of WPTV down in Florida. First guy's name is Scott Miggs. Uh, claims to be a co-worker, knows him 20 years, worked uh, with Caesar at 10 different clubs, right? And the second person you saw was Stacy Sacola, S-A-C-C-A-L, states that she's the general manager at uh, Ultra. I have both of their videos. This is not new. This is not breaking, but uh, I like to keep all my ducks in a row. Hey, listen, you know, it's we're not, I'm not perfect, right? I miss this somewhere along the line that this information um, was already out there. So I just want to keep it all in the same place so that if somebody comes here and we have a coherent record, especially as we're now moving into the, uh, the court phase of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the witch hunt. Excuse me. All right, so now if his attorney, his uh, court-appointed court attorney, Wants to call witnesses. Well, here's two people that know his character. You want two character witnesses? These these people seem. I watched it. They seem credible. I mean, I put in there that that uh, the the fat guy Scott Miggs. I stuck that uh, when you watched the Michael Moore video. That was the only discrepancy I saw. I said, "Is this? You know, those little fat guys look the same?" <laughs> I don't know. Is it is it the same guy? Is that is that the guy? Is is Scott Miggs the same guy in the Michael Moore video screaming? Is that the same guy? I don't know. It doesn't look, it looks kind of, I don't know. I don't know. His voice, it's very hard to tell. He's wearing different glasses. He's got the same two chins. But anyway, that's that's besides the point. So that's up to you. I, I don't know. Try to figure it out. Watch the Michael Moore video, the link down below. I, I did that, uh, all the Michael Moore videos. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to keep everything in, everything together. So this is this is important information. I mean, these are two people that claim to have known him. You'll hear... Both of them talk about the van. They'll the girl thought it was an ice cream truck, right? I think what it what it represents, what these two individuals represent, if if believable, which yeah, they seem like they seem legitimate to me. Whether the stories you could punch holes in their stories, but these are just two people that knew. Uh, Sayak as a as as a co-worker. The guy worked at, at the club. He worked at the titty club. One guy filled in for for him once in a while. All right, they're just workers. They don't have to be best friends. They don't have to know everything about each other. So there's some there seems to be some credibility in terms of his character. Again, it punches holes in the original the original effort, the original story of Robert Lowy, the the um, Ronald Lowy. Ronald Lowy, the court, of, the the uh, uh, mother's attorney, the mother who hasn't seen him in four years, hasn't lived in his, ha he hasn't lived in her house in thirty-five years. 
and the sister who hasn't seen him in four years, all testifying that he's crazy, that he's, he's, a, he's got a, the brain of a 14-year-old. That's, that's what these videos debunk, which is, again, we're, we're, way, we're way after the fact, right? Whether we find out if Caesar Syak did what he did, at this point is only trivial. But what, what the event did do, did in fact have an effect it did, it did affect an election. It affected Amer an American election, the 2018 midterm election. As the testimony of the President of the United States, Donald Trump, said it, that the, that the, that the uh, two bomb, the, the bomber and the synagogue shooter ha spoiled uh, a, a great momentum, as Trump said. So... So that's really the, the, the that's really, uh, you know, as we move forward, that's what we want to find out. And that's, these types of interviews are very good because will the, if, in defense of Caesar Sayak, will his attorney now turn around and say, oh, there's no witnesses? Or I don't know, nobody knew who he was. He was just a loner, right? Could she do that? But look, we have video. We have video evidence that he, in fact, had these two apparently credible people on the record saying the day after, the day after, that was October 26th, they, they, they caught him on October 25th, the timing is, is, is there, all right, so it's, it's legitimate, I wish I would have caught it two weeks ago, but we got it now, that's all right, so it's, it's now on the record, these two, these two folks, so that's all for now, I, uh, I, thought, I thought it was interesting, I watched it, and uh, this comes, again, I read the comments, I read the comments in my videos that you guys post, and that, that's where I caught it, right, I, I, didn't know, I didn't write the screen name down of the person who did it, but thank you, right, so, um, and thank you WPTV for, uh, f for this footage. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting from my mother's basement, peace out. So you've known Caesar for over 20 years. What was he like? He was a very nice guy. I mean, every, uh, we worked together in 10 different clubs. Um, he's always been very polite. Very. Uh, I mean, I just, I've never seen anything like this coming at all. When did you first meet him and where? Oh, God, I couldn't remember. I, we worked for, like I said, 10 different clubs. I can't remember, but it was probably about 20 years ago. Okay. How did you feel when you heard the news? Uh, I almost fell off the bar stool. We were sitting here talking about it because uh, my roommate had sent me a text saying that the guy's name was Caesar. I said, I surely hope it's not the Caesar we know. Five minutes later, I saw the picture on the screen. Almost fell off my bar stool. I couldn't believe it. We were sitting down there, all of us. And then the, the manager, I had to tell everybody here and everybody freaked out. And um, I don't know, it's just been crazy ever since. Did, um, I've been getting tons of phone calls from everybody. Yeah, good, including us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did um did he ever talk politics or anything? You know what? I it, as far as his political views, I didn't even know about it until about um, until I started working here with him when I came in here about a month ago, and uh, saw that he was here. I was greatly he, he worked for me yesterday, so I could take my my son over to Fright Nights down the street, and. Um, and I mean, he never talked politics to me up until about two weeks ago, uh. two or three weeks ago. Then he started, you know, talking to, you know, you know staunch Republican. And we were watching stuff on the news and he's like, oh, screw her, or, you know, whatever. And then he sent me a text, uh, uh, I think it was two days ago, you know, to vote for Nunes and, uh, and the Santos and all those and saying Gillen's going to raise us all taxes and all the crazy stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I, I vote the way I vote. And that's what I'm saying. What he did, if he did it, I surely hope he did. not You know, it was just crazy. I mean, if you want to change something, go out and vote. You know, no. So he texted you earlier this week, like two days ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I said, he, I was texting him to get him to come work for me yesterday so I could take my son to the Fright Nights. So he worked for me yesterday, and then at the end of the text, he started sending me stuff to vote for, you know. So what did he do for the club, and how long did he work here? He's a disc jockey, and, uh, and he also uh, worked the floor and uh, was a, a dance counter over there. And uh, I don't know how long he's been here because he was here before I got here, so okay. uh, you'd have to ask that. Yeah, so he got here just shortly before me then. Okay. What's the, the staff feeling right now? Uh, they're just overwhelmed. Uh, they, they can't believe it was him. I mean, 
when he comes, and you know, it's it's funny because now that you, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Sure. Um, when he came in, he came in with big duffel bags. He used to come in with two big duffel bags, and I heard yesterday when he worked for me that he even brought in a cooler along with his duffel bag. He was always doing something up here in the DJ booth. Nobody ever really knew. And I don't know if that was the case, but... Do you think it was weapons? We don't know. I mean, it's just... You don't need that much of a double bag for DJ equipment, for sure. <laughs> Did you know, was he still living down in Aventura? Do you know where he was living? I don't know. I, I never knew where he was living. I have no idea. Did you ever see his van parked out front? Or uh, no, I have never seen it, but uh, one of the other girls were telling me about it. Yeah, that was the van when we saw it being transported. He said, yeah, that's his van. He's always, he's, in fact, uh, one of the girls was coming in, and he was out there working in the van um, yesterday when I, he was working for me, about 10 o'clock in the morning. He was out in the parking lot working on his van. He's always telling her, she was working on the van, I'm always working on the van. Let me, ask you, let me ask you, like, two or three other things. Sure. Did, did you ever hear any complaints about him from other staff members? Oh, no, like I said, he's a great guy, man. Very nice, very well-spoken, I mean, very polite. You know, always was nice to everybody, helped all the girls out. I mean, great guy. I mean, this is baffling me. I, I can't, I can't, I, I never would have ever seen it coming. No clientele ever complained about him when he no, was in the door? No, not at all. What about past? I've never even seen him. You know, he's been a foreman for years. Most of the time I've worked with him, he's a foreman. He's a big guy. He's, you know, he's very, very strong. But I've never even seen him in any fights all, all the time that, you know, that I've worked with him. So, I mean, no. Have you ever he wasn't known, violent, nothing. Have you ever known him to deal steroids or take steroids? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you for sure, but he was awful big. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, um, did he ever talk about, like, firearms or... No, not at all. Nothing, nothing at all. It's, it's, it's just baffling to me. It really is. Do you know, like, was he around last weekend at all? Well, like I said, on Monday, I was... Uh, let's see, Monday, Tuesday. No, I contacted him on Tuesday. Okay to work for me on Thursday. Um, I worked with him Sunday night. You know, we worked together on Sunday night because he counts the dances on Sunday nights. And uh, we worked together last Sunday. Okay, so Sunday you worked uh, with him. Saturday, Friday, was he working at all? Uh, I wasn't here on Saturday, I was here on Friday. Um, no, he wasn't here on Friday, but he, he works nights too, so I, I mainly work days. Okay, anything else to add? Anything you want to say? The only days that we worked together would, was Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So we worked every Sunday together, and that's when I got to see him. And last Sunday, I mean, nothing strange. I mean, uh, he was over there sitting on his desk. He always watched the news, though. He was always on that TV watching the uh, news. So. Worried about getting the to Fox it. Channel, of course. Stacy's <laughs> <laughs> account, S T A C Y S A C C A L. I am the general manager. And so. When you found out in the last couple hours that Cesar Soyak uh, was arrested in connection with all these these uh, alleged bomb incidents, what, what was your first reaction? What was your thought? Shock. Shock and disbelief. Um, until I heard his name, I still didn't want to believe that it was his band. Um, these people started telling me that it was his band, I, and I heard there was political stickers. I never noticed those. He always parked in the back, and I thought it looked like an ice cream truck. So I never knew he even was any political anything. He never spoke politically to anybody in here until last night. How do you feel that such a scary man uh, was working side by side you every day? It's terrifying to know somebody and think you know somebody. I mean, you, you work with this person. Nicest guy. Just a great guy. He was one of our, you know, he greeted people at the door. Just a really nice guy. Everybody loved him. It is amazing. You just can't even... No, come on in. Sorry, you're gonna have to edit that part out. I can. Okay. Um, it's not like it's a lot of everything. Thanks, you're good. Yeah. Uh, you just, you think you know someone and then you find out there's just something really sick going on up there. It's just scary. It's scary to think that who knows what he was doing, when he was doing this. What are your other employees say? How far it could have gone? I mean, he, he worked here a lot, you know? What do your other employees say? What are they thinking? Same thing. Just complete shock and, and disbelief. So was he super political um, inside work? Nope. Never knew he was affiliated to any party whatsoever. He never spoke on that uh, issue ever. Uh, he just was a nice guy. He'd talk about work. He made jokes. You know, he was funny. It was uh, just very, uh, I don't 
unbelievable is what it is.